Hello, everyone. It's me, Will. And this is Server Quest Live. Joining me, as always, is my faithful steed, Ian Gibson, whom you can hear now. Uh, he is here to guide me to Earth and beyond. Feel like how I did that? Uh, yeah, I got the first part. Um, we're on Earth, so let's go beyond. And beyond! Launched in and September beyond. 24th, 2002. Published by EA. Oh. Uh, published by EA, developed by Westwood Studios. Ian, do you know any other games that Westwood Studios made? Yeah, they made... Oh, I wish I did know another game other than Command & Conquer. <laughs> Red Alert? <laughs> That's a Command & Conquer <laughs> game. They made Command & Conquer. Good, you got one. They also made Young Merlin for the Super Nintendo. Which is a game I didn't yes. know about until I saw it on the wiki, and it looks like trash. And oh, they made Blade Runner. Oh, no. I just found a complete playthrough of Young Merlin for the SNES. Guess how long the video is. 25 minutes. One hour, 27 minutes. I really want to play it. It Not looks action. dope. Yeah, that, might be a, that might be a Will's weird game. You know, I had a a moment today. Sorry, we should, folks. We're, we're we taking should call it here. Will's weird game slash Ian's rejected ideas. <laughs> yes. I was like, we should bring back Scanline sometime because I miss playing bad games. Hey, if you wanna, you wanna edit. You, know you go right ahead, baby boy. Maybe. Okay, so we're in Earth and Beyond. This is uh, launched two thousand two. It's shut down. This is a private server. I'll read some more facts as we go. But uh, I'm gonna just you play as people and as ships. So Ian, do you think I should be? These are Terrans. We've got some Terrans. We've got a Progen. Look at these guys. Those guys just look human. But then we got the Je ne sais quoi. <sighs> That's a good joke. But at the same time, all these people look human. Yeah, I feel like. It's white people, black people, and Asian people. Is that that's not wrong, right? That's definitely what they're I'm going for here. That question, <laughs> not answer that question. It's kind but of like when I was reading Dune, and about halfway through Dune, you realize that the the like native people on the planet came from uh, Muslims on Earth, which is not a good thing or a bad thing. It's just one of those things where you're like, they're they're starting to drop some like Arabic here, and you're like, wait a minute, what? <laughs> And, okay, just while we're on the trend, that's okay because it's kind of like an interesting <laughs> reveal where you're like, oh, that's how they're connected to the current, to like the present. This is far in the future. That's like, that's how they came about. It's different from, uh, you read the Dark Tower series by uh, Stephen King? Just the first book. There's a second or third book where it's, he basically just decides to write like a Wild West book and there are these people in there who are not Mexican, but they sure do act and talk and are treated <laughs> like society like they are. <laughs> Down to the like, you know, like, is he senor? Like, oh, let me let me grab your donkey. But it's like <laughs> different terms and different words, but it's clearly, <laughs> clearly like, just a ripple. That's my problem with Stephen King is that he's like, he's a decent writer, but his ideas are just real half-baked. I like his cocaine writing more than I like his oh, other I writing. I don't think I've, I don't think I've read any of his cocaine writing. Well, anything pre, like, two thousand something is cocaine. Before he got hit by the van. Yeah, I think I think so. The only Stephen King stuff I read was I read Green Mile, and then I read all of the Dark Tower books. And for me, he's kind of like, he's like if you make a cake and you have all the right ingredients and you put it in the oven for the right time and you take it out. You just forgot to mix it together properly. Yeah. Which is because I don't know the uh, spoiler for Dark Tower, but there is Harry Potter at the end of it. Nice. Literally, literally Harry Potter. The Harry I, Potter um, series makes a, 
an appearance. I uh, ooh, I get to do my ship now. I um I've read Cujo and I've read it and mm -hmm. what is uh, uh what's the one with the writer and he captures him Oh, uh, misery 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 is a fantastic book um, I think that's one of my favorites Yeah I think when he keeps stuff like contained and yeah. thinks it through it becomes very good uh, um, I read the Shawshank Redemption short story. I don't. It was pretty good. I don't think it was as good as the movie. I'm gonna put stars on my ship. Oh, you're customizing your ship. That's cool. Yeah, this is pretty dope. I'm enjoying this so far. Um, so yeah, this was also the last game Westwood Studios made. Uh, That's a little upsetting, to be honest yeah. with you. Uh, it got shut down. The game got shut down. It was announced to be shut down in March 2000. What do I have here? March 2004, and it was shut down in September of that year. Um, they did wait, do. A wait a minute. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wait, wait. Okay, it was released. 2002, September 2002. So two years. Oh, so it only lasted two years. It's kind of disappointing. Um, uh, before I start, I'll get through the last of these. It, uh, as far as I can tell. This is the only wiki that's really mentioned it. I, I don't think it's necessarily started here, but it's of note is that they did big story patches every month that like changed the world. Um, oh my! God. And so like oh, a lot like, of the games were a bad way. No, like changed the in-game world. Um, oh okay. Like like things had effects on other things and like terrain changed. And I feel like even World of Warcraft didn't really get there until a little bit in. Not uh, yeah. But like a lot of games didn't do that, and it lost the best massive multiplayer game by PC gamer to Asheron's Call Two, which came out November oh. of this uh, November two thousand two, uh, and we can't play it because it was shut down in twenty seventeen, and there are no private servers like Asheron's Call One. Wow, it's funny. Asheron's Call Two came out. To your first duty station. Mm -hmm. And the first one was still out. Asheron's Call 2 shut down. The first one continued. Then they brought two back and then shut both of them down in 2017. I think it's kind of funny that 2 was the better MMO according to the critics, but 1 is the one that has the, the fan server now. Mm -hmm. And I, I Just an interesting... <laughs> I, I went to the subreddit and it was like, hey... Oh no, I have no idea how to move. Oh, I looked close. Uh, it was like, uh, hey, there, how do I get a private server up and running for this game? And the top comment of three of comments was like, have millions of dollars, buy the source code, hire an engineer, have them build servers. It was like the most like uh, uh, sassy answer from this guy who clearly was like, I know how to get Astron's yeah. Call 2 up. Uh, okay, I got to see how to, how to walk. Left, right, I down, that up. Be good. Begin moving forward. A. Excuse me. So, um, Will, just to uh, reason oh. why I like you playing these games and not me is because it gives me time to work on stuff while we're talking. Yeah. I may be working on Thursday You're stream, so which loud I, right we should now. talk about at the end of it. We gotta turn. Hey, my fault. I didn't say it was your fault. Uh, well, I mean, clearly. Okay, 100%. I got to turn you up. Can you talk? I got to turn you up for the stream. Hello, uh, my name's Ian. I made uh, okay. oven no roasted one salmon anymore. and carrots. <gasps> and uh, You eat salmon on the reg else? more. I wish I ate more salmon on the reg. <sighs> you got it, man. I, that phrase is too close to on the rag. So what's wrong with that phrase? It's unnatural. Unnatural? Yeah, we should stop this line. I've got real inappropriate things to say that I'm barely holding back here. <laughs> I, I think for once I have no idea what you're talking about. So pretty good. I once saw this um, shirt and it had a picture of Hillary Clinton on it and then it had like this like three or four sentence joke underneath it. The joke was real good, but very offensive. Yes, Sergeant. Sir, yes, sir. 
This is hard. Yeah, so we'll we'll talk about at the end of the stream what we're doing on Thursday. Not to steal your thunder or anything, but yeah, you're being a real uh, butthole. Stealing well, I'm trying thunder. to stay in character. <laughs> I think we need a rewrite. <laughs> okay, exit Starbase. I'm gonna take my ship. Oops. Oopsie poopsie. Daddy made a big boo boo tonight. Dude, check out my ship. This is Luna Station. Oh, this this is like Star Wars Galaxies. Which should be soon, right? Yeah, it's like 30 episodes away, probably. No, I'm gonna look no, it up. it's not. It's pretty close. Can I just fly in here and land? Please tell me. Okay. It is, uh, three, four, six away. Six away. Yeah, that's not that far. No, it really isn't. Wow. Wow. We've got, okay, let's see. Guess how many games we have left to play. It's like 32 or something like that. 30. That's rough. Dear Lord. We're taking a hiatus at some point. Control. Well, yeah. Okay, what am I looking for? This is crazy. Engage, disengage, warp. Target <gasps> too close for a warp, warp drive. Warp. 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 Oh. This does look cool, though. Destination. Did we put oh, sector gate? We didn't put Earth. Star Trek online on here. Did we? Oh, we do have Star Trek online. Yeah, on we list. have Star Trek online here. <gasps> what do oh, we get Jeff ping. Gerson to play with us? That has Thank to be you. one of the stupidest impulse buys I've ever heard, which is that Gerstman bought the lifetime subscription for like three, four hundred dollars for Star Trek online, even though he barely played it. Nice. <laughs> I played Star Trek online. It's pretty good. Yeah, it seemed like it wasn't bad. I enjoyed but it. I don't think I ever played it. But I, I wasn't into Star Trek at the time. Not in a bad way, just I'd never watched it or anything, so I, I didn't feel like I should get involved. You I know? think I had like just gotten into Star Trek. New oh. location discovered. I discovered Earth. Wait, there's an Earth gate. Gate turret. <laughs> Did you hear what the forward button in this game is? Seven? No, it's A. Oh. That's weird. Oh, I want to shoot this. Yeah, this was a mistake. Oh, I have an emote. Oh, I did a loop. I think I shouldn't oh, have left the just... moon base. Because... You need me to look up a walkthrough? Um, no. You know, at this point, it's not even worth it. Uh, uh. Do a lot of these games a disservice. No, it's okay. I mean, most of these games don't deserve our attention anyway, so we're doing them a That's service. True. I think if I fly through this thing, it'll shoot me to the planet Earth. I was hoping to shoot, shoot me to the moon. I don't know what sector gate. Oh, what did I? How did I exit it? Exited it. Uh, whoa! Look at this. Oh, Alpha Centaurs. Oh, That's bonkers. Boy. Yeah, let's go to the far edge of the universe. <gasps> Wait, there's something all the way. I think I can mama there. Mia, Mama Mia, Mama Mia, let me go. Yes, I'm a computer. Go to Deneb. Hello. 
My name is Denim. How are you? How do I look at the I I must be old, right? Wait, I don't wanna I wanna What do you think I'd tell it to warp me somewhere else? Cooper, I ain't got no no god darn tilly winking idea. Yeah, that's true. Don't you know that boy? Help. Self help. good music though i do like this music it is pretty like relaxing okay i'm at this yeah. new earth gate vector gate to earth luna state <gasps> go to alpha centauri warp alpha 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 boom here we go oh sorry it's gate to alpha centauri Hello. Moonication, moonication. Is that what she was saying? Yeah. Wonder. Hello. Option. Target. Next target. Fire all weapons. Yeah. Do it. Yeah, no. Did you fire all weapons? No. You dis. Gust me. Have I told you that before? Yes, many times. Whoops. Whoopsie popsie. Gating in Daddy progress. Man. Look at this. Ooh. <gasps> that looks cool. <gasps> oh. I'm going to Alpha Centauri. Oh, we did it. This is a good that game was now. Neato. That was real neato. Earth Corpse High Command. Oh, we're going there. Hello. I'm Corpse. Earth Corpse. Game got good. Good night from Italy. Love your video. Keep up, man. What video? But thank you. Uh, probably thanks, G -Mad. probably not my video probably jake's video to be honest probably jake's video yeah. probably jake's video but we're we're here to put up but i love you too. too i hope everything's going okay in italy probably not but hey things are bad here too so true do you want some oil or we're i'll pay you to take my oil <laughs> oh i thought you were making like an olive oil joke oh no i was making a oil prices of crash joke Am I going to hit this thing? I nope. Just you know, I don't really it. understand that. But something that I thought was interesting was part of it is they have such a surplus of oil that they're running out of places to store it. And yeah. so one of the things they've done is they just all the pipelines, they fill the pipeline with oil and then shut it off and close it. So the pipelines are just long tubes of static oil now, <laughs> which just makes me think of our Factorio servers when stuff gets backed up. And it's just things oh, full that's... of things. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's it. What happens when everything shuts down? It's crazy. I couldn't fall asleep last night because I was trying to think of how... Confirmed. How long this might go on for. Oh, but, oh I probably know. a while. I think it's also, like, it's going to change a lot of, like... Like, I'm going to probably carry around a somewhat face covering Unification now and like, my... My back in general or something yeah just have it with me yeah i, c I could see that Ooh, i feel like i <gasps> phantom whale you think i shoot phantom it whale. 
Shoot it. Shoot you. Um, Found him. Oh, oh, this is so cool. Oh, I'm shooting him. Are you in? A, are you in a ship the whole time? Yeah. Or uh, no, I I, I started as a person. Whale does not like me. Oh, I killed him. I think? Oh no. Ooh. We're gonna shoot him. I keep shooting him. Hang on. How's, uh,. How's your gaming life been going, Ian? Um, I uh, so so I racing. I've been playing some i racing lately. Um, if you remember, I was running the Mazda Miata, which is kind of a rookie vehicle, and I didn't feel like I was ready to move up to D class yet, even though I already qualified for it. Yeah. Well, there were a lot of people talking about it today in the racing chat i'm part of and i just i bit the bullet i bought like 60 bucks i spent 60 bucks for the car and four tracks which they're going to uh, run over the next four weeks i did some practice on it it's pretty cool it's basically like a slow but like a learning it's like a training car that's kind of like a formula one car but it's a little bit slower but it's still a little hard to control um gotcha. but i had fun yeah i, I ran a race today in on spa Francochamp. it was like a 40 minute race um, I didn't do too well. I finished 15th, but mostly because I got in an accident at the end and that at the start and that put me in a bad place. But but I've been playing that. That's it's pretty good, man. Racing games. They're just it's it's they're still great. But also having this active community that's kind of sprung up because of all these people missing their races on Sunday because there's no sports right now and everybody wants to play online is just fantastic because like I was racing. But while I was practicing for this race, there was literally five or six different people in the chat who were also practicing and giving tips and being like, hey, you can take turn 11 in second gear and it gives you a little bit, gives you two tenths faster out of the corner. And I'm like, oh, let me try that. Well, cool, cool stuff like that. Nice. What about you? What you been doing, baby boy? Uh, I've been playing more Nier Automata. Uh, I've, you still liking it? Yeah, I'm, I think I'm 18 hours in now. Um, I'm on the, I'm on C mm -hmm. now. Um... Oh, okay. Yeah, you're switching between. I've done. I mean, I'm happy you're enjoying that game. I just, I, I, the things I hit up against, like the combat and the, the stale levels and stuff. I just, I knew I wouldn't be able to handle it. I, I yeah. loved hearing about it and the story stuff, but I just couldn't. I knew I couldn't handle it. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I, I beat the game twice, which is A and B, and now I'm on C, uh, which is going pretty well. I'm enjoying it. It's weird how that game is structured. Very weird. Oh really? Like you literally beat the game twice, and then C isn't the game again. It's just the story afterwards. And it's like what? So. Oh, and you're expecting to? Yeah. I was expecting to keep playing the same story over and over again, but just uh, like learning more. But instead, it's yeah. like continuing the story. So I've been doing that. Um, I've also been playing my summer car. Um, yeah, I, I saw did a you stream on Monday. Yeah, it was fun. I did a lot of parts. I continue playing it that night. Uh, and so the car is done. Um, I just well, have to, cool. I have to wire it now. Oh, like with the harness and everything? Like I got to put wires from the lights to the engine and all sorts of things. So Ugh. that's the that's next calm. step. It's very calming. I'm, I'm loving it. Um, it's funny i put everything in and then i walked and we had done this in chunks so i kind of got messed up so i walked over to the shelf and sitting there's the carburetor and the like air yeah. air filter or whatever and i was like oh yeah. no 
and I literally oh, that dragged be right it. on top. Yeah, I dragged it over and it clicked on top, and I go, "Oh, right." I was like so afraid. <laughs> Thank God. Yeah. I was like, if I have yeah. to take this thing apart, I'm gonna be so mad. Um, but yeah, that game's like, it seems so simple, but it has such like complex systems. Like, I have to make sure to manage my stress. I have to like go to the sauna. Like, I was like. Yeah. realigning my car to be over the pit so i could like grab stuff it's, it's really weird um yeah i wish it didn't have those elements but the problem is i i so i bought mechanic simulator and i was like oh this is gonna be like my summer car but without those elements that i'm not crazy about and it's it's not because it's the controls for whatever reason are just awful yeah and it you, was like very frustrating i'm fairly certain the, you can the problem is off. Oh, the the survival stuff. Yeah, because there's like a. I think you can make yourself immortal, and just like the only thing you'd have to do is like if you wanted to go buy parts. I think you'd still have to drive. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Honestly, I said this on stream. If like I could buy a, I don't know the prices. You actually might know this, but if I could buy like that legit car kit for like, I don't know, thousand dollars or whatever. And I had a place for it. I would totally just build a car. Yeah, I think I think the big problem is the big problem is number one that that kit doesn't really exist. Right. Most of the time, you have to buy and part together yourself. So, like when I did the Miata, which is a fairly easy car to work on, I had to find a place to buy the junkyard engine. I then had to buy parts from like 12 different places. And as I'm working on it, things are breaking. So I'm like, let me try and get this part from the dealer. I'm looking up part numbers. So it's not, it's not really a kit. Yeah. Um, that's well. I just mean like, that's, that's one of the big challenges with it in a way is learning how to do that properly. And then the other big challenge is, how do I put it this way? So it's, my summer car kind of cheats because everything is taken apart from the start. Yeah. And everything is in good working condition. So, like, it's kind of like, let me put it this way. Like, when you get a Lego set, you have all the pieces, you have the instructions, and you put it together, right? Restoring a car or getting a car working is kind of like getting somebody's Lego set that is a little bit broken like you, it's just chunks of pieces and you don't know what pieces are missing and you don't know what pieces are broken. So yeah. the first thing you have to do is kind of take it apart and then put it back together and figure out what's missing and then piece it out. And that that's kind of the big challenge. And honestly, it's, it's very stressful because the thing about the Miata that was driving me crazy, and, and this happens a lot with other project cars, is just like, I bought that car for a thousand bucks, which isn't a lot of money but it did not run. So I was just like, great. Now I have a thousand dollar paperweight and I have no idea what's wrong with it. And I have no idea if I'm ever actually going to get it running. And the only way to figure that out to solve it is to just start throwing money at it. And I probably put another $2,000 into it before I got it moving where I could actually drive it. Yeah. So it, I, I, it's it's a lot of fun. It's just, oh, it's so stressful. And yeah, my summer that, that, car is like making the stress different parts than the car itself you know yeah that's why i think if like it was presented to me in a like you said lego set sort of way i think i would have a lot of fun like I, i've looked up like like engine replica kits or like those like little steam engines you can build because i think that'd be fun oh yeah those but cool, uh yeah i can't remember what the name of the car is but there's a french car that, that you can literally buy for like 1500 bucks the kit and put it all together um, oh yeah, that it was in a MythBusters cool. episode. That's why I remember it. Oh no, I don't want to escape. Oh, you mean, but not a, not as a real car though. No, it's a real car. Like a, I can't think of what it's called. For fifteen hundred dollars? No, there's no way. You may be thinking about. So there are some kit cars where like you buy the parts you need, but they're like, hey, if you have a Beetle then you buy these parts and you take apart your beetle, put these parts in there, and then it yeah, becomes yeah, a different yeah. part. I, I don't think it's fifteen hundred dollars, I'm just throwing a price around there. But it's it, I can't think of the name of the car. It's like a little French 
car thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like they, they do have... They, there's a couple companies that do full-blown kit cars where you actually buy everything from them, but it's like fifteen hundred. It's like fifteen thousand to twenty-five thousand dollars, basically. And then the yeah. problem is, you have to do some legal finagling to get the car legal to drive. Um, typically, what you have to do is you have to go find the frame of a car, and then, yeah. um, like you have to find the frame of a car and then put your parts on top of it, and then you register it as the original car that you got the frame from. It's, uh, it's, Low the, Max? Ci it's the Citron 2CB. Oh, it's like a kit? Yeah, I, I don't remember where the website is for the kit. But you can literally... That's the car I'm thinking of. Pretty sure yeah. that's it. It's just like a, it's like a lot of space, a lot of time, and then you got to plan to buy a bunch of tools. Because like even with the Miata, when I had the engine out, I didn't clean the rust out of the engine bay because I knew that would be another month with the yeah. engine out. And I was trying to pull the engine and put the new engine in within like a weekend. So it's definitely one of those things I would love to have, but it's like you got to have a space for it and plan for it to be like a multi-year project. Yeah, uh, yeah, I would never do that until I had adequate. Um, but speaking of buying parts for things, I have bought parts to put together a mister because I... Oh, that sounds crazy. exciting. Uh, I bought the uh, DE10 yeah. Nano, um, and then I bought some parts for it from a guy in Colorado that I had to send money to. He gave me a 5% uh -huh. discount. Nice of him. Why? Why? Why'd you get the discount? Uh, I, cause I found him on the Atari forums and I ordered through him and not off his eBay store. So it's basically uh, the money he would have paid to eBay when me. Oh, uh, gotcha. The savings. Um, so yeah, I bought parts from him today. I put together the SD card. Um, I'm not going to go too crazy on it. I only got the 32 megabytes of, uh, SD Ram. I mainly bought it because it's way easier to play a lot of the Will's weird games that I find on there and capture mm -hmm. it through the Elgato than trying to get an emulator running on my computer. Um, yeah. So I, like I have a, I have a bunch of Amiga games to play a bunch of all sorts of stuff. So get excited people. Okay, who am I looking for? I think it's Jed. Ryan. Cool. That sounds like fun. Um, you can do that as a stream that would be pretty crazy not that you have to but what putting it together yeah putting it together on a stream yeah i i don't think it's that exciting it's literally i'm just putting like three pieces together i'm not crazy building it. oh but i mean including the software part yeah we we can do a stream with it that'd be fun oh Maybe... i'm not doing the stream you're doing the stream <laughs> i'm not saying i'm saying you could join me if you'd like oh yeah i'm saying i don't want to you're literally the worst person. I need to find someone else to stream with me. <laughs> uh, okay, this guy's crazy. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, why is A run? This game is weird. It looks promising, but in a, like, not fulfilling way. Yeah. It's so weird that Westwood... Harrison Eatland. Hi, I'm Harrison. And I'm Eatland. And we're Harrison, Harrison Eatland. Eatland. I hate you. That was a good joke. It's done. That was pretty good. Um, what about you? What, what else have you been playing, baby boy? Um, What else have I been playing? Nothing really. I, 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 I didn't fall off. Well, I guess fall off. It not stopped. I haven't played Mountain Blade in a while. Um, yeah, same here. I, I think I just hit a point where I was like, oh, so I just grind like this. I, I So I have a castle. I, I can form armies. And I don't really like the castle management or the settlement management. I have some workshops and I'm just kind of like, oh, so now I just grind like this until I feel like I've beaten the game. And I, and I just... Yeah, it's that game has some weird problems in terms of like onboarding throughput 
Yeah. End game. It's just I I really thought they would fix all that stuff in the six or seven years it took them to make this game. I mean, granted, it's early access and a lot of that stuff is usually last. Um, in terms of like importance. But maybe, but like the UI is still not great. So <laughs> it's just stuff where I'm like, I felt like like if I was in charge of Mountain Blade three. Or no, is this two? This is two. If I was in charge of Mountain Blade 2, I would go in with a list of like, hey, here are the to improve on. And it feels like my top three or four things are bottom of the list for them. And that's upsetting. Yeah. You know, things like better UI, better story, more dynamic campaign. And it. And it but I, I think really as far as like story and campaign stuff, they're adding later. Like that's a couple things they've said. That's true. That's true. I and just, the, uh, yeah, I think once it, like if this was out of early access and this just came out, I think I'd be much harsher on it as well. But this game has changed hands so many times as well. Has it changed hands? Yeah, I think it. it I remember in like 2011 or no, it was like 13 or 14 is when they announced that it was back to Tail World, Worlds to work on it. Oh, uh, like it was taken see, away given given to someone else for a while and like it got oh, gotcha. canceled and all that stuff so I will right. i think it may be time for me to talk about what i've been working on what have you been working on thursday folks we're gonna play an illegal game bum, we're gonna be bum, playing bum. cookie mama cook star nailed it I, I don't know how i messed up that name I but either. um i'm pretty excited yeah, you're excited to play an average cooking mama game. I don't think I, I've I've ma I've played maybe ten minutes of a cooking mama game. How about you? I don't think I've ever played a cooking mama game. I think I played the Wii one for like fifteen minutes. Oh boy, this should be fun. I'm excited to do illegal activities with you. I don't think it's illegal, right? It's no, it's can't it's be illegal. illegal. You know what? Maybe it may be one of it is illegal. No, it can't be illegal. It's not illegal. Well, are they but, gonna make me fly through this planet? I, I think it would be illegal to hold the material if the copyright is not genuine. And I, I think the copyright is genuine. It's just the publishing agreement. Yeah. So they should not have released it, but they, but the material itself is not a copyright infringement. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not like I'm... Well, no, no, but then... Okay, think about it. If you buy an illegal copy of something, if you buy if you buy a burned Blu-ray of a movie, that's illegal. So if I'm buying a game that should not have been released, that's illegal. Done, done. Done. It's like when... Um, it's like when there's a lawsuit around a game. I think Galactic Civilizations may have been one of them. And they and during the lawsuit, they just stop sales of the game. <laughs> <laughs> or or if, or if they win the lawsuit, they just take the game back and you can't download it anymore and stuff. That's basically what this is probably going to turn into. I, I don't I don't know where it is. It's either at my parents' house or I let someone I don't think I let someone borrow it, but I have the Fallout one, two, and anth uh, and tactics anthology that uh, uh, interplay released without Bethesda's permission. Oh, it's like a they sold it. I think I got it at like a Target, and I didn't even know. And then it like came out. They're like, yeah, they did that without asking. It was right when they had like because they didn't buy the license until did Bethesda own the license before or before Fallout Three? I think they made the game yeah. then bought the license. No, no, I'm pretty sure they had the license. Let me, I'm gonna look it up. Yeah, look up that Fallout anthology when it came out, because I somewhere. Um. Um. Okay. Uh, 2004 Interplay closed Black Isle Studios. Uh, 
Oh, okay, wait, this part. I'm, New location I'm reading. So. Okay, wait, wait a minute. Give me a second. I've given you enough time, Mr. Bond. Okay, here we go. Interplay was threatened with bankruptcy and sold the Fallout franchise to Bethesda, but kept rights to the Fallout MMO through a back license in April 2007 and began work on the MMO later that year. Fallout 3 came out in 2008. Um, but legal drama. Bethesda Softworks sued Interplay Entertainment for copyright infringement on September 8th, 2009 regarding the Fallout Online license and selling a Fallout trilogy and sought an injunction to stop development of Fallout Online and sales of Fallout trilogy. Key points that Bethesda were trying to argue is that Interplay did not have the right to sell out Fallout to sell Fallout trilogy. Bethesda also said that full-scale development on Fallout Online was not met and that the minimum financing of $30 million of secured funding was not met. Um... Yeah, so the Fallout it, trilogy it, is the one I, I have. Yeah, so basically, but the Interplay was seeking was close to bankrupt, so they sold out the Fallout franchise to Bethesda, but kept the rights for Fallout MMO. But they did not deliver well enough on Fallout MMO, so Bethesda sued them to stop the MMO and to stop them from selling the Fallout trilogy. Yeah, that's and great. Bethesda ended up winning. Yeah, Zenimax, uh, real piece of crap company very litigious yeah I, I think i've told you this before i used to work for zenimax online not a joke oh, they would describe. regularly very very regularly threaten to sue people and they threatened to sue me several times you know they tried to make it in joke but they were like uh, here's an nda and they're like oh by the way if you violate this we will sue you and when i left the company they were like okay just remember you signed the nda we will sue you uh oh. there was somebody who took documents out of the office one time and somebody else found out about it and it was not like they were stealing them. They just happened to have documents out of the office. And they sent an email to the entire office that said, hey, don't do this. We will sue you. Very Did terrible you, company. You told me about the person threw something away in the wrong place. Yeah, basically, um, they there was the office, but the office was in a building that was also had other people in it. So the bathrooms were outside of Zanimax online. Does that make uh... sense? Yeah, so imagine like each floor has a lobby area. The bathrooms were in the lobby area, and then you would go, and then you would walk through a secure door to get into the office. Um, they found design documents in the trash can in the bathroom, and so they sent an email to everybody that said like, it was so stupid. They were trying to be jokey about it. They're like, somebody did this. We're very disappointed. Here are ways that you can properly dispose of material. And they're like, oh. throw it in the trash can in the office. Put it in the shredder. Eat it. You know, <laughs> grind it up with a stone. Set it on fire. And they were like. Do not take documents out of the office. We will sue you. And it was like, calm down. I wonder like, what got them to be that way. Probably Kotaku. Not to blame Kotaku, but th think about it. Kotaku doesn't get advanced copies of any ZeniMax games because yeah. uh, they hate that Kotaku keeps finding leaks. But they have leaks because they treat their employees like crap. Yeah. So. Um, Bad company. Yes. Yeah. I have uh, the demo for on here, the Fallout Van Buren that never came out. I have that. Oh, on, really? On here. Yeah, right I, I think it's on my. I think it's on Abandonware. Oh, it's Black Isle Studios Fallout Three, basically. Yeah. The demo a game runs supposedly. I haven't tried it. That's pretty I always cool. find stuff and like download it for future reference. How's the game gone? You know, it's happening. Probably wrap this sucker up pretty soon. I'm trying Man. to remember. There was some other game stuff. Um, oh, I bought Mech Warrior. You remember Mech Warrior Five Mercenaries? It came out in December. Yeah. Kind of just went under the radar because people didn't really like it. I decided to buy it because it was on sale, so I'm gonna play that, have some fun with it. Still playing Animal Crossing, but not as much as um, Maggie has kind of taken over. Animal Crossing. Yes, so. she messaged me today. Looking Did she for really? more flowers. <laughs> Our island is covered in flowers now. And I'm like, hey, let's do paths. And like, you know, let's rearrange. She's like, no, I just need more flowers. I made great 
paths and yards for every house. It was very fun. Ah, uh, I should probably do that. But the problem is I, discovered. I don't have any money because Maggie steals it all. She steals all the fruit. She steals all the money trees. So, so I just have the only money I make is from turnips. <laughs> That's it. I made uh, I can't 1. make money any six million last week. Oh, that's pretty good. I only did a 266 sale on somebody's island on Saturday. Yeah. I just used that turnip exchange because you, you, you get in a queue and then you yeah. just wait. I did that too, but the problem I had with it was I was in two different queues and I was in the queue for an hour and then the, the host was just like canceled it yeah. when I was like in the top 10. And it happened to me twice. So on Saturday, I just picked I picked a price that was lower. So the queue was smaller. And I was like, okay, I'm definitely going to get this. And I got it. So that's why I only sold them for 266, but I was still yeah. happy with it. Yeah, it's fun. I, I like, I still like popping into that game and just, it's just like a daily game now, just checking stuff out. Um, yeah. But yeah, I, I want to finish up Nier because I, I want to like, I say I want to get at some other games and like dive into them, but I have no idea what I would dive into right now. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I gotta find a new like game to get obsessed with. Uh, hmm, I'm trying to think. You you could play Final Fantasy VII Remake. I've been hearing fantastic things about it. Yeah, I I own I I need to play something I own because I have so many. Oh okay. I want to buy something. Hey, can I new. can I tell you something about Final Fantasy VII? It's not it's not a spoil. It's only a spoiler if you're like a super hardcore fan who doesn't want to know anything, but. I heard this and it's like it's bonkers. It's so brilliant that I love it. Oh, I'm you gonna can't tell, tell you me that okay. then. Okay. Um, Wait. So you no. know how the? Why well, I don't want to know so, this. No, it's not specific. It's just so the, the thing about a remake is like, how do you do a remake that doesn't feel like it's the exact same game, right? And so Final Fantasy VII, they added a bunch of content, but at the same time the storyline like you know what the storyline is because it's going to be the same as the original and the big thing about final fantasy 7 was the storyline and the twist and the things that happened in it so the in final fantasy 7 remake what they do is apparently they have these like ghost spirits that show up in the game like in the world and force things to happen so that they happen like they did in the original game so if something goes different from the original game, these spirits show up and just like deliberately change it to match the original game. And they're what? like the main villain of the remake. Doesn't that sound awesome? That sounds like, there's really like, cool. Like there is this guy who is supposed to die and he doesn't in this one. So the spirits just show up and like push him off a building, which is how he dies in the first one. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's <laughs> crazy. crazy. Yeah, and it's great because the big twist is not in this first part of Final Fantasy VII Remake, but people are so excited because the way they're presenting it is that fate, there's no such thing, not, not that, it's that these agents of fate can be challenged. So the big thing that you think is going to happen may not actually happen in the remake. Oh, that's kind of cool. And it's so brilliant. Yeah. So I, I got to play that eventually, but not. I just don't feel like playing a PlayStation game right now. Oh, I was the game I was thinking of starting over and playing through was uh, Resident Evil 7. I really enjoyed my time with it. Mm -hmm. Only problem is I'd have to wait and play when Karen's home. That way I don't get scared if, and that way she can watch. What if you go back and play the what if you do the DLC? Did you ever play the DLC? No, I never played the DLC, but I only made it halfway through the game. Oh, okay. So you didn't finish it. Yeah, gotcha. No, that game's too spooky. I'm excited for uh, Spooky Pixel this year. Yeah. I think we should trade off this year. No, no. That's yeah. That's the plan is we're going to trade off and I'm picking the games. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, so I'm man, doing all of them and you're picking all of them? New location discovered. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, because cool, cool. I'll, I'll ship you the GoPro and you'll have the GoPro. Yes. I would Same like exact thing, just we're year. also reversed. It is. Uh, it's too spooky, man is I was very surprised at how alien isolation was not scary at all though. Yeah, I think That's it would have been more scary if you played the actual game, not that DLC. I don't know. That DLC was still like it was still supposed to be scary. No, but that's like that it was scary. just an add-on. It's not like getting you in the mood like the actual full game. 
Yeah, that's true. Um, but man, Palmyra Orphanage. That was too much, too man. Much. You're welcome. God. Thank you, Abby oh. Russell. <laughs> I'm just remembering it. And that game uh, scared me. <laughs> and I wasn't even playing it. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, I'm trying to think of other games that... Oh, you know what? Let me look through a list of games that you could play. I was... Um, um, actually, also, I want to do a coma... I want to... Coma... Comitative? Comitative? Cumulative? 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 I want... Yeah. Anyways, I don't even know if that's the right word. I want all the spooky pixels to build up to one final spooky pixel that explodes all over your face. No, that... To one final, final spooky pixel that we do, like, Dead by Daylight or something. And then, like, me, seven. you, Zach, no. Karen. No, it'd be fun. We'd all no, be scared. See, I don't think... No, because, see, the thing about Spooky Pixel is that you're alone, and you can hear me, and that's it. That's the thing that's scariest about it. But if it's, like, a multiplayer game, it takes away the scare. I don't know. It's I... still scary. No, it's not as scary. It's not as scary as sitting in a no, dark room it's as completely scary. by yourself, and you're in control, and then there's somebody who's talking to you, but at the same time, you're terrified. It's... Spooky Pixel is all about being spooked. And I think that's just like, that's the difference between like watching Cabin in the Woods and like an actually scary movie. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cap Cabin in the Woods is just like a campy, fun horror movie, but it's not scary. But Spooky Pixel is about scary. Um, I'm gonna take this gate. Trying to, I'm gonna go to Earth. Trying to find some. You can play through some Star Wars games. I'm thinking yeah. about rewatching uh, Rogue One. Uh, um, yeah, it's a good movie. I like Rogue One. I remember watching it in theaters and just not being that impressed by it, but I didn't hate it. But I'm in a Star Wars mood because of Mandalorian, and I read some Star Wars books recently, which is weird because lately Star Wars, except for Mandalorian, has been trash. But it's but Mandalorian alone has put me back in a Star Wars mood. So oh, maybe I should finish uh, Jedi. Oh yeah, you could. Really didn't you could like go through. It. Oh, fallen. Oh, you talking about fallen order? Fallen order. I thought you were talking about. Um, I thought you were talking about like Jedi Academy, Jedi Knight things like that. I do have all those. I should play through those. It's funny. Yeah. I, I have a bunch of older games that I actually want to genuinely play through, but I can't tell if I want to wait. Dream me genuinely playing through them. I keep having this. Well, you could issue. just. You could just play them and then just occasionally stream your progress. You don't have to do a full playthrough. That's true. Like, I think I'm going to keep playing Anachronox. The game's fun. Can't go to Earth. I have to go to this Earth station. Go. Are you hearing what I'm hearing where this game has this audio cue that goes, boo -doo 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 -doo, and it sounds and it just sounds like, like the start of our, boo -doo 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 -doo. Yep, I was going to bring it up earlier, but I didn't think you would really get what I was saying. You'd be like, no, it doesn't sound anything like it. But I'm so happy. Yeah, it does. Because like every Don't two seconds, I think we have a new subscriber. <laughs> oh, hey, um, the uh, did you hear about PAX West? They're gonna have it this year. Online? No, they put out a tweet today that was like, "Hey, just to let you know, we're still planning to have PAX West." Uh, of course. Right? That's. Oh my god! Yeah. What a bunch of gosh darn goober! I got I got Karen Karen brought home this mask for me. Oh, it looks great. Oh, I made a mask. Yeah, her, came out her, okay, but her, your company made this, right, Karen? Her business is making masks. They're looking into making masks. This is a prototype. Oh, okay. They're just face coverings. They're not actual medical masks. Oh, okay. so put that out there. Um, um, you know, this is a good place it... to call it, I think. Standing next to Executive yeah, Kelly McKellen. Are you related to Ian mm -hmm. McKellen, ma'am? I like my kind This game has a huge like attitude thing that I've completely skipped over, but I really don't care. Get a nice view. What do you mean by attitude? Like you can pop an attitude while you're talking to people? No, like like people's characters are all like super sassy or crazy, 
Or, like, they're all oh, yelling okay. at each other and they're being sassy. Anyways, folks, that was Server Quest Live. Uh, I believe... Do you still have it open, what next week's game is? I think it's Eternal yes, Lands. Yes, I do. Um, I I'll give you a hint. About it. It's came out after this game, Earth and Beyond. I hate you. Not Asheron's Call 2. Called... Why are we playing this game that I'm about to announce? Is this actually worth playing? Eternal Lands? They're all worth playing. I think we can skip this one. Which one is it? Eternal right. Lands. Yeah, this game does not. I don't. I think we skipped this game. Oh, this game looks dope. No, I think no, but I think somebody made this game, and it's just like a real weird fan project game. It's what it looks like. It's open source. Oh, yeah. this is the stuff it's we an come open for. source MMO. This is why no, we come this here. is the stuff. It's up to you, but no, if you still it. want to do thirty games, yeah, yeah. So after that um, is Shadow Bane. No, I got my shit. Um, question. Shadow Bane? Uh, I was, I was thinking about this. Yeah, possibly Shadow Bane. I was thinking about this this week. Do you think it's yeah. better for me to download the game, install them? wait and then start it on stream or do you think i should play it a little bit and then stream it i i okay i think in terms of the show it probably is better to get through the tutorial off stream but at the same time i know that for your sanity these games are not great so it's true i say we just i say just go through it on stream you know okay yeah, I'm fine there's, with that. there's no guarantee they're going to be better after the tutorial. I mean, I, and that's the nature of MMOs is there's the tutorial, then there's about 30 hours of gameplay, and then it gets good. Yeah. Mm. Gate is that? Sector gate to high earth. Excuse me? Oh. High earth. See that. Uh, anyways, folks, server quest live. Um, yeah, so Thursday we're playing Cooking Mama. Saturday we are going to play um Mario Maker? Uh, I'm looking it up. I'm looking it up. We had a conversation about this this morning. I forgot what it is. Yes, Saturday is Mario Maker. Mario Maker on Saturday because there is a new update coming out for the game tomorrow that I might actually just check out tomorrow. Um, adding basically a lot of things that everyone wanted, um, including a Super Mario Brothers <gasps> 2 power-up. They added Worlds. Um, oh, you can make worlds. Yes. Have you not seen this yet? No, because it, it, like nobody cares about it, and they they released the Nintendo the Animal Crossing news I think on the same day or the day yeah. after, so it just got completely overshadowed. Yeah, it's crazy. They added a ton worlds. of stuff. They added um, worlds is good. They added the Mecha Goomba. They added all sorts <laughs> of stuff. So I'm very excited to check it out. Stuff that'll like really change the game. Um, this was Earth and Beyond. You can totally see why they shut it down. I'm sure it was great. Uh, thank you everyone for not watching the stream. Thank you for GMAD popping in here. Thanking Jake quickly. Uh, that was very nice. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Ian, for joining me. As always, I'm going to transfer over just to myself because I love myself. Um, my name's... Will Crosby. You can find me on Twitter at Hunt270. That was Ian Gibson. You can find him on Twitter at Think Gibson. You can find all of our stuff subpixelfilms.com. Tomorrow, I'm going to be streaming some weird Will's weird games. Uh, it's something called Time Gate Nights thing. It's by the Alone in the Dark people. Uh, I think I'm going to stream that tomorrow because I, I don't care, really. Um, but until then... Oh, my new Gundam came today. I'm very excited about that. Mm. Um, but until next time, folks, stay safe, stay positive, and eat your vitamins. Goodbye, Ian.